In today's video, we are going to be looking at how we can add contact lenses to our portraits in Adobe Photoshop. This is Twisted Creative Alari Bay Management. My name is your first time on this channel. Please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of the next video. Without wasting much time, let's jump into it. This is image we are going to be using and as you can see, she's having dark eyeballs. We are going to be changing these eyeballs into new contact lens. So how do we go about it? You can go to Google, type in contact lenses and you'll see something like this and just download them. No matter the size, you'll be able to use them. Okay, so these are the contact lenses we are going to be attaching to our images. We are going to be using this blue contact lens for this model. Let's just drop it on this model and pick our object selection tool and drag it around it. Boom, the selection is made. Then we select inverse and feather with two. Then we delete like one, two, three, four. Why you are deleting four times so, so as not to have some fringes around it? So we are going to deselect and pick our move to then we can now start adjusting. Then we can zoom in as much as we can, then reduce the contact lens. And here we we'll go inside the eyes. So we have to match it with the size of the original eyeball. Let's say, look at. Let's just say this is where the original eyeball ended. Then we can just position it in a way that it's going to be fine. Then hit OK. Now we have it placed on the eyes. Then what can we do to fit it inside these eyelashes and all that that is around the eyes? Let's just go for go to eraser to if you right click you see the eraser to the very first one you can use it to erase and you have to reduce the let's say opacity and flow the opacity can be at 50 or 60 then 66 should be okay at the opacity then all what you have to do just start painting painting as you can see i'm removing most of this part that is being affected by the eyelashes and all that so let's see how it's going to look you can see brush it inside like this brush it inside to reveal some of those eyelashes you space it a little and brush it in space it a little and brush it in for you to reveal the eyelashes you will see some of those eyelashes coming on top so you don't have to clean you don't have to erase totally so as you can see now it's just like we are sending it back right inside the eyes so let's go so we can now see most of those So we can now see most of those eyelashes that has been covered by the contact lens. Then as you can see, the top is secured. Okay, let's go to, let's just clean up the edges to match the original. Can clean the edges to, to meet the original eyeball, the edges of the original eyeball. Then this line, you have to make this line visible. So you can see we are sending it back. Okay. Just have a look. Take a look at what we have here. Take a look at what we have. Okay, let's go for the other one. We are supposed to duplicate this and use for the other side, but it's not always the same because the angle will change the sizes of the eyeball. Let's say, let's go again and bring in, so have this eyeball again, have to bring it down and 
we are supposed to duplicate that first one after making the selection we have to do it again let's say drag it around and select inverse then feather with two then delete four times to three four then deselect and grab it reduce the size then zoom in and size it up with the original eyeball so here we are it's just like this you are going to leave it like this then you start doing the magic by using your eraser to to erase then let's see again it's like it's a little bit bigger let's still reduce I think I think it's okay like this. Let's bring it down a bit and start erasing. So we have it like this. We have to start erasing. Have to pick up our eraser tool and zoom in and start erasing. So we have to blend it in a little. To to reveal a little part of the original eyeball then clear the edges like this then tens of the eyelashes you know how we did it initially have to be wiping it slowly to reveal the eyelashes So you can see that the eyelashes has been revealed. You can wipe and space, wipe and space. So we have it like this. Then we have to take it to the edges and clean up the edges to match the original eyeball. So as you can see, it's practically done. So as you can see, it's, it's done. Then the next thing we have to do, like it's looking too bright and too artificial to my, to my liking. So what I have to do is I have to pick up the first layer and the second one, then I have to use my control, control E to mesh both of them together. Why I mesh both of them is because I want to reduce the brightness. I want to make it a little bit dark. So I have to make two of them uniform brightness so let's go to image adjustments then contrast and brightness then we have to reduce the brightness can increase the contrast a bit then can see increase the brightness a bit like this like this. okay let's just see and see how it look like okay let's try and see before and after and see how it looks on the image Let's say this is before and this is after. This is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Isn't it amazing? So we have to try it on another image and see if it's going to be difficult. Let's say this, we are going to be using this one this time. Then we're going to drag it and drop it onto this image and pick up our selection tool and drag it around it and the selection is made. Right click and select inverse. Then right click and feather then feather with two then delete four times one two three four then we deselect with ctrl d then pick up our move tool and start adjusting then we can zoom in and also continue adjusting but by by now we have to 
press enter and use ctrl j to duplicate it then i can take this to the other eyes and let's continue with this then i can now size this because both of them are not going to be the same in size anymore because of perspective so we'll have it placed like this and i think this one is okay then have to pick up our we have to pick up our eraser tool and start what we know how to do then have to start erasing then you have to be dragging in from up to down, from up to down, you space and drag in so as to reveal most of the eyelashes. So we'll have it this way, then have to clean up the edges here to match the original eyeball. Side the edges, All right, I think it's, it's done. It's done. Let's go to the other eyes and see. We have to pick up the next layer. Then pick up our move tool and adjust accordingly. Let's place it this way and go down here. Here and here. So I believe it's okay like this. We have to, let's see. It's, I think it's okay like this. Then we have to pick up our eraser tool and start erasing. We we'll have to re reveal some of those eyelashes. Then we can reduce its brush size and go to the edges. As usual, blend it to the normal eyes. Then have to clean up this area also. edges so this is what we had and let's say let's reduce the brightness and see if it's going to make it match properly then have to select this first one then hold our control then Choose the rest, the other one, and make sure both of them is selected. Use our control E to merge two of them. Then we have to go to image adjustment, brightness, and contrast. You cannot always use any way to darken or brighten it. Then you pull it down a bit. Let's say I think it's okay this way. Let contrast then. I think when it's not too bright, it's okay. You can also you can also increase the brightness or the 
You can also play with the opacity if you feel like you can go to opacity and reduce opacity. And opacity is going to help you bring out the details from the original eyes, the original eyeball. Then you have to bring it down. You can see some details are coming out. So it's going to make it more realistic. So we have it like this. I think with this now, it's perfect. So let's see the before and after. This is before, this is after, this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Isn't that amazing? Let's just go to the other image and reduce the opacity also. Let's say this is the image and go to opacity and reduce opacity. Then get some other details from the original eyes. That, that is it. Isn't it amazing? Yes, it is. Yes, that is it for today. If you find it interesting, helpful, and useful, let us know in the comment section telling us the area it has helped, the area it has not, and the area we need to improve on. And also write in the comment section telling us the color of contact lens that is suitable for black people. Like I said earlier, if you are new on this channel, please do me a favor. Do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Not only by hitting that subscribe button, also ring that notification bell so that I don't miss any of the next video. Thanks for watching today's video, Creative Pro. Keep on creating. Please stay creative. Bye for now. See you in the next video.